Rabies Vaccine for Humans The Pre-Exposure and Post-Exposure Protocols Hello there. My name is Dr. Brenda Kahn. Because rabies can affect people and animals and is often fatal for both, client education is crucial. Unfortunately, many pet owners bring their pets for rabies vaccination only because it is mandated. As a result, they do not ask questions or voice concerns about the disease. Our duty as veterinarians is to protect our local communities by providing the most current information about this deadly zoonotic disease to the public. Who in your area is at risk for the virus? All mammals are susceptible to getting infected with rabies. What is the wild animal reservoir for rabies, and why should you care? Wild animals may be infected with rabies, especially raccoons, foxes, skunks, and bats. These animals do not stay in natural areas, and they are also often found close to human populations. What should you do if you find a dead wild animal? Any wild animal found sick or dead from an unknown cause should be considered a potential hazard for rabies. You should contact local wildlife officials for help with containment and testing. How do we control the spread of rabies to people and animals? Through vaccination of companion animals and at-risk humans, we can prevent the spread of this disease within our communities. Rabies protection for humans is administered under two circumstances, before exposure, pre-exposure prophylaxis, and after exposure, post-exposure prophylaxis. Some veterinarians receive the rabies vaccine as pre-exposure prophylaxis while in veterinary school. However, veterinary staff are often vaccinated only if they work in a rabies endemic area, animal control, wildlife rehabilitation medicine, or with rabies virus in a laboratory. Also, if you are traveling to a country where rabies is widespread, you should consult your doctor about possibly receiving pre-exposure rabies vaccination. Post-exposure prophylaxis for those who have never been vaccinated consists of a dose of human rabies immune globulin and a rabies vaccine administered on the day of exposure, followed by vaccine doses on days 3, 7, and 14. Those who have been vaccinated or are currently receiving the pre-exposure vaccine for rabies should receive only the vaccine. Disease prevention through vaccination is a substantial part of patient health and wellness and the One Health Initiative. In addition, pet owners working alongside veterinarians and using science-based information can protect our communities against this preventable disease. Please subscribe to the Veterinary Channel for more informative videos. You can help us to train the veterinarians of the future by giving us a like and sharing this video with your friends and family.